All right, I almost feel like I should have a script for this, but I'm just going to go for it. We're going to do a little dip switch lesson. I'm going to try to keep it brief as well. <clears throat> so, uh, hold on a minute. We're going to need something here. We already talked about this first bank of dip switches. Um, that's to assign expression control. Wow. So what that looks like is let's say that you want to affect the rate knob. So if we don't have any dips, this is a good thing to tell you about too. If you don't have any dips, this is handy for like a um, phaser, like the womb tone. You can actually put a uh, expression pedal and it acts like a, like a wah pedal. So right now this is actually simulating LFO. It's actually controlling the LFO. Because we don't have anything assigned yet. So let's say, obviously, you'd want to do like the rate. That would be an obvious one. And I also told you that little trick. Uh, the first one is never included in the dips because it's the ramp knob. In other words, you can never ramp drive control. They always start here. So one, two, three, four, five are your, your dips. And that's one, two, three, four, five, you see right there? So let's just say, without even looking, we wanted to control rate. We know that that's one, two, three. So you could easily just kind of, without even reading, just do number three. And now we've got fast and we've got slow. You set the maximum with the knob. So if you want your fastest to be all the way up, that's how you do heel toe. Some people think of like expression as like heel toe assignments. If you wanted to go just from all the way down to just halfway, you'd leave it at halfway, and now that's all the way down, and there's that halfway. And the other thing I mentioned is it's always better to have fast at the top. So Obviously with this, you could just turn it around. But with, an ex with a uh, normal expression pedal, you can't do that. So if it's doing the opposite of what you want, you just switch the polarity. And that's what the second bank of dips is for. So we want it to, and I think it says, yeah, rise and fall. We want it to rise. So we're gonna do the same one, which is the rate knob. And all that does is changes the, your polarity of your expression. So now the slowest is at the bottom, fastest is at the top. Again, still set by this knob. Slowest, fastest. So now let's say that you wanted your fastest to be at the top and you wanted it here, but let's say you wanted the heel position to only go down halfway. On the bank of dips, you have sweep. We're going to cover control and division in just a second, but you have sweep. So, okay, what we're talking about is the first five on either side. That's controlling the knobs with expression. And the ones that are kind of that different color with the white, we're going to talk about those in a minute too, but so everything I've mentioned so far is just the first five corresponding to the knobs. So now we're going to do sweep so sweep is for the top of the wave or the bottom of the wave. That's what that T and that B is right there. Top of the wave, bottom of the wave. So now we're just doing the top of the wave. In other words, top of the wave is everything above. Bottom of the wave is everything below. 
So if we're now just using expression on the top of the wave, it's just going to go from here up, if that makes sense. So now you get your fastest, and all the way down is just what's reflected by the knob. So if you only wanted to have your expression pedal do the last, like, 30%, you would set it like this. I guess I could play some sound here too. So it's doing this. And it never goes below your set point. And if you want your set point to be a lot slower, That's how you do that. And let's see, I'm gonna put that back to, no, I'm gonna leave it there. So division is the second dip over. Division controls, or division says how you're gonna use this toggle switch. It can either be set up for One, it says one and three. So one means one, two, and four. Three means three, six, and eight. And so what those are is um, the divisions, whole notes, half notes, quarter notes, thirds, sixths, and eighths, right? So that's when you tap in, this just sets what division you're, it's gonna take of your tap. And you can have it be Whole, quarter, whole half and quarter, or uh, third, sixth, and eighths, and that's what you would control here. I don't ever touch that really on a gravitas because, jumping over here real quick, you have this center one that says mode. I always have that one on on mine. And what that is, is now you see where it says S, B, and H. So you have the option for standard, harmonic, and then both is kind of a hybrid between those two. I kind of like the both one myself. The standard one is a little choppier. Let me just turn this up a bit. Standard one sounds like this. Harmonic sounds like this. I just like the in-between myself. So that's kind of why I don't ever touch this division one because I'm not, I'm not ever messing with that. But it's there if you want it. Uh, momentary bypass. So if we push momentary bypass, that's kind of self-explanatory, I think. Your clean signal passes through and then it's only activated on the pedal while you step on it. So it's kind of like a kill switch in reverse. that we weren't using an expression pedal and we wanted this um, rate to kind of manually go up and down. What we would do is activate bounce and then what do we want to bounce? We want to bounce the rate. So we're going to see the rate, if you look closely here, the rate's going faster and slower. It's probably easier to hear it if I just play. I got to turn the pedal on too. <laughs> so it's way slow, and now it's going to speed up. controlling 
the maximum of the bounce, the maximum rate. The ramp knob is controlling how fast it's, it's turning that knob, how fast it's bouncing. So if I roll the, the uh, ramp knob down, let's see, up or down, down. It's faster uh, ramping when it's down. pedals misbehaving. There we go. Uh, the ramp knob and the rate knob work in conjunction with one another and it's kind of hard to find sweet spots sometimes. So what I did is I turned on another dip that we should cover is the control dip. And you'll notice that the light turned green. <clears throat> now what that is showing me, that's this guy here, control. So it's either on ramp or P, I don't know what the hell P is. Ramp or I don't know what P is, but if you have control down, then it's uh, the rate of the tap. So it's either going from slow to fast. And then when you turn this up, it turns green, and what that's doing is showing you how fast it's going like that. So if you see the green light going like this, so it's going like dun, 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 that means it's going dun, 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 dun. And if you see it going like this, then it's going like this. It's going down, up, down, up. So sometimes it's kind of hard to find that sweet spot. And then it's also like where you have the rate set. So now it should be going faster and slower at that rate. Let's see. See how it dips totally out? Maybe you wouldn't want that. So you can switch the polarity of the sweep to go top. Now it's only going like this part of it. So you can have it be like from, from halfway to all the way now is what it would do. That's just a little more musical because it doesn't cut out. It's a little better because it spends more time on each side. So if you look at this green light, what it's doing now is it's basically, so that's our low point. It's going like this. It's going down, up, down, up, maybe even slower than I'm doing it. And then here's a cool thing. You can often get like a tremolo sound out of other pedals using this technique. So let's say that we turned, let me just take everything off for a second. All right, so with no dips, we're just getting standard tremolo. At that 
that rate. Now, if I slide the depth back, it completely removes the tremolo. Got no tremolo right now. But if I were to ramp the volume, which would be number one, and bounce it, and let's see, I'll go from like, I'll do the bottom half of the wave because I don't want it to get any louder than that. So yeah, bottom. showing us how fast we're doing this with the volume. So that's the rate of your volume tremolo. The tremolo is completely taken out of the circuit. There it is right there. And if I bring the tremolo back in, I mean, this sounds like a tremolo, but this is kind of just to prove it's only volume. If I take the tremolo back in, you'll hear it, listen. So I'm putting two tremolos together, which also sounds kind of cool. So taking that tremolo back out, um, let's see, what else could I show you? So this is like the rate of the tremolo. It'll go really fast. When I say tremolo, I mean the one we're using now, which is volume. Um, you can make the tremolo kind of quieter, louder because you're setting the max point of that ramp. If we switch the polarity, it's gonna get louder because it's doing the top half now. Hope I'm not throwing too much at you. But that's a useful way of showing how the ramp works. It's super slow and it just gets crazy. Technically, you could even use a gravitas as a volume pedal by using expression on the volume. So we'll take our bounce off. in the uh, polarity yeah so this would be like nothing right so you can even set it up for use as a volume pedal with an expression and you could bring that tremolo back in if you wanted You can do, you can literally ramp whatever you want. Take this back out. Sometimes it gets confused when there's something plugged in there. Uh, let's turn bounce back on. You could even do like tone. Tone makes kind of a cool tremolo. It's like somebody turning your tone knob, which is what a harmonic tremolo is anyways. Uh, let's see. Yeah. So now there's the rate that our tone knob is being turned at. It's too bright, you can back this off. It's more subtle that way. Because right now it's just doing this part of it. Uh, you can flip it and it'll get brighter because it'll be the top half. Pretty subtle tremolo. several different tremolos on here, right? Um, you can you can bounce the waveform, you can bounce the depth. 
depth on expression is kind of cool. <clears throat> so what you would do is just set up the tremolo that you like. Sometimes it gets confused. You have to like, oh, it's because I don't have any dips. So let's see, depth. Yeah, if you don't have any dips engaged, sometimes it can be a little confused. Did you see that? No dips and it's just kind of like sitting there because it's on expression. Uh, let's see. So if I bounce, uh, no, I don't want to bounce. I want to express depth and I want the higher part up. So now this is the depth of our tremolo and maximum would be maximum depth. And all the way down would be minimum depth. So set your rate to what you want. This is what it would sound like. And you can fade out that tremolo as the note decays. It's just the same as doing this. figure out what R and P is. Ramp and P, what the hell is P? I don't know. Uh, sweep, that's the top of the knob or the bottom of the knob, sweep. Uh, division, we covered that. These are like polarity of your expression pedal. These are expression pedal assignments. say.